It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little extra. With a little extra. Uncensored, unedited, and almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. Hey, this is the magic of things. We're on vacation. We're not actually in the studio, but we've got fresh, extra funny material that we have uh, prepared for you. So we will get to that. The fresh new material for extra funny, even though we're on vacation, coming up next. It's the Ace and TJ show with a little something extra. This is the Extra Funny Podcast. More next. Hey, we're here with Richard Takato, our friend from the Richard Takato companies, and this is great. It is great. The interest rates are coming down and probably time for you to refinance. Oh, it's absolutely the time to refinance. <laughs> Do it now. Call 704-800-4719. Save hundreds of dollars a month. Yeah, if you've just bought a house in the past couple of years, you've got a chance to save hundreds of dollars right now. Hundreds of dollars a month, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to believe. 704-800-4719. One free five-minute phone call does it. Or just check out homewithrichard.com. Richard Cotto Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Hey. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at Sweet Dreams. And taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little extra. With a little extra. Uncensored, unedited, and almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. Um, this is yet more proof of something we've been saying for years and years. We were the first to say it. And that is that um, not all rednecks are Southern. Right. If you think all rednecks are Southern, then you can go blank yourself because it's not true. Latest in the evidence locker. This is in Providence, Rhode Island. A man was hospitalized with a possible broken jaw early Tuesday morning. All right, so out drinking and, and carrying on on a, on a Monday night, okay? According to the police, the victim said he had been dragged out of the bar in the city and beaten up. Now, we're going to skip ahead and we'll not tell why he was beaten up, but we will tell you the name of the bar. The name of the bar is Deadbeats Bar. Okay. Now that's pretty redneck yeah. right there. Happy. Good name. I'm hanging out down at Deadbeats on Knight Street. The three men started a fight with him, the victim said. They started a fight with him because they did not like the song he played on the jukebox. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Why did he play? Now we are Well, talking. that is the media malpractice here, Ace. They do this whole article, and they Whoa. don't say. The whole article is about. A man getting beaten up over the selection of a jukebox song, mm. and they never say what the song is. In the how whole you, article. How do you not tell us what the song was? I don't know. You have to just be a complete dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the must know thing at the end of the story. Yeah. Like, okay, that's a crazy story. What is the song? You just have to uh, now, guess. would that mean that the reporter didn't even ask, mm. or would that mean the police didn't ask? Ace, you went to school for this. Where does the reporter get? Well, uh, let's see. It, it doesn't, doesn't say who the reporter is, but where do they get their info? The reporter would get, well, it could get their info from a couple of different places. It could, a lot of it will come from the police, from the actual police report. Mm -hmm. But then the reporter needs to follow up and try to track down somebody to interview. Some type of yeah, eyewitness is the, there. At the, uh, even if it's not one of the, bar. Yeah, even if it's not one of the participants, go interview a bartender or a manager or somebody who was there at the time to find out more. Now, I wonder what, because it was three people that had a problem with this song, so much so that they dragged him out and broke his jaw, oh, no. and he had to be hospitalized, jaw. as they say. But um, 
Other people in the bar had to have a problem with it, too. It couldn't have just been these three. So, do y'all think that it was a bad song for the bar because it was too sappy? Yeah. It was uh, a downer or gay? <laughs> Uh, I think it's probably a sad it's song. song. Yeah. Sappy, yeah. Like you dumbass. Like, I'm trying to think of what will cause me to fight somebody over a song. Like, you ain't I'm playing like, yeah. no gay songs in here. <laughs> well, you know you what? Take your Beyonce bullshit <laughs> right down to another bar. That could be yeah. something. You ain't gonna play. I mean, no. this is a redneck place, yeah. obviously. Rough. No hell, no. We ain't playing no I am Beyonce oh. country music. We're gonna play damn country music. We're gonna play damn country oh, music. Take your damn George Michael and Elton John and your Sam Smith. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Yeah. B12 got a Merle Haggard. Mm. I, I bet it was I'm like. I'm proud to be hey. okay from Muskogee. I said B12, you son of a bitch, not B52. <laughs> I like to picture that it's like the Bubba Shot the Jukebox uh, situation. Like you play a sad song and yeah. then that we really got to him. Mm -hmm. But three people? I mean. You played a sad a, song? That, that, like, there are three guys in there that couldn't handle one sad song? It made them think of their daddy. Man, I tell you what, though, you've ever been in a place and somebody plays some shit on the jukebox or whatever? It's like. I gotta sit through four minutes of this sucky. Yeah. Have you ever been to just one crushes where, the mood in the in the whole place? I've been to a place where somebody <clears throat> somebody played the same song like ten times in a row. Really? Yeah, well, that's I, annoying. That's just not having any consideration. Yeah. I, had to, I, just I, had to leave. I had to leave. <laughs> yeah, you're just being a complete jerk, man. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you the last time I put money in a jukebox. I don't think I've ever done it. Well, now you don't have to. Yeah, they have the thing you can control it from your phone. Now, now you download an app and you can well, sit across the bar and do the click, 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 yeah. and, and order songs to play on the jukebox. But I guess I should rephrase yeah. it. I, I can't remember the last time I ever played something from a jukebox. Okay. Yeah. Touch tunes. Always fun. I don't. I don't know them in many places that have them, but it should be. I bet they have them in a lot of sports bars I yeah, go into. Probably. I want to say there was one in our Pizza Hut. Like, I think I remember waiting to get a pizza with my dad or something and seeing a jukebox. Man, when I was a kid and, and you I, trying to get my parents, can I, hey, can I get some money so I'm going to play something on the jukebox? How much did it cost to play a song? Probably a quarter, like a 50 quarter. cents, something like that. Can I get a, you gotta, can I get a dollar and play four songs? I can play five songs for a dollar. Mom. I'm not giving and, you a dollar to play songs. People are already playing songs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I know there are songs playing. But I have songs I want to play. I want but, everybody to hear these songs I like. But, Mama, this is what I want to do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> play songs for people. Uh, we just spent $7 on pizza. No. <laughs> and I think y'all would be shocked at the number of people who are listening right now that um, just realized that it's juke box and not jute, jute. box. Yes. Ah, juke box. <laughs> Man, what a jukebox with a country song. Doug Stone? Yeah. Okay. Well, with the, uh, is that the one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Something about them swaying doors. Mm -hmm. Where's the sawdust, sawdust on, on the floor? floor. Why is everybody, everybody wearing, wearing suits, suits and ties? <laughs> Where I stand, I can't believe my eyes. Oh, I know what I'm listening to on the way home Hell today. yes, I mm. am. Right. Damn. Doug Stone. Hey, love gr grows best in little houses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought about Riggins yesterday on my way home. I was driving somewhere and I just decided, you know what? <clears throat> it's a sunny afternoon. I was leaving uh, Kinder Music, coming mm -hmm. up here to do the uh, the Peyton's Promise Ace and TJ experience mm -hmm. last night, and it was nothing but Creed's greatest hits all the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just blasting. They have a greatest hits album? What is it? Or is that what they were singing in kinder music? No. no. <laughs> you got any Creed? Yeah. <laughs> any butt rock? <laughs> theory, theory of a dead man, Alter Bridge. <laughs> I just know that because that's all I do. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no P.O.D. Yeah. No Five P. Banger. No. Oh, uh, P.O.D., that was a good album, Rob. Satellites, that was a good album. What was that band? Uh, the elephant something. Cage the Elephant. Cage the Elephant. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't you no got no cage for the wicked. <clears throat> AWOL Nation. Sale! <laughs> <laughs> There's little babies in there. Sale! <laughs> well, I bet y'all are playing some bullshit, Mrs. Rachel, huh? Yeah. No, no, Mrs. Rachel. Nerd shit. Little puddle of mud. 
Parliament. Oh, Parliament. Everything's so blurry. <laughs> she effing hates me. <laughs> That's a great song. I love that song still, Rob. Mm. I'm going to need to put together a, a, oh my a butt rock playlist. Man, Beck. Oh, don't you include Beck, Beck. in my butt rock, Beck. please. Was Bush butt rock? No, Bush was considered part of the, the end of the grunge movement. Okay. I don't think they were. They weren't technically grunge, but they were considered kind of that uh, that that crossover between grunge and new metal. Oh, the, well, we ended up with corn and you know biscuit. Oh, everything. love corn! Yeah. I love corn can't, and biscuits. Can't get, <laughs> can't get enough corn. <laughs> Holy cow! Can't get enough theory of a dead man. Oh, breaking Benjamin! Hell yeah! <laughs> Damn Caesar! Oh. Shine down. I know that's me and, TJ, me and TJ's favorite singer. Yeah. Love them. That Shine Down band. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't put those, that them in the same category with Creed. Yeah. Well, I Not at all. They're both effing rock. Mm. Oh. What, did, what was the Bush song? Breathe uh, in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe out here. It's a rain. It's a rain. <laughs> I like that guy, though. Gavin yeah, Rossdale. Gavin Rossdale. Yeah. It's cool, dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, he One of those tried guys his hand at acting, too. I don't know. Is he good? Uh, only thing I ever saw him in, I think, was uh, an episode of Criminal Minds. Oh, I didn't know he was British. Gavin yeah. Rossdale is British? Yeah. yeah. Gross. One of those guys that could, could, any way he wore his hair, you're like, that's a good yeah, he's, yeah. yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah. And he Slick was back, married to that. Cut uh, short, whatever. You're always like, mm-hmm. that's a good look. That's, his hair works for him. Wasn't he married to Blake Shelton's wife? Mm-hmm. Yep, Gwen Stefani. Yeah. Dang, um, She's hot, too. Early 2000s to the... Uh, Gwen Stefani? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I've always yeah, kind of... never a, had a tan. Hey. No, very uh, porcelain doll-like. Yeah. She can't okay. help that. Let's... let's Trying to mock, but I think she no. I'm just that. meaning that. Yeah, she does it as her style. I think that she could, if she wanted to, she could get a tan. Yeah, I just she chooses she... that peaches and cream. Yeah, you look, you, you, or sometimes even an Elvira type look. Yeah, it's pale. really white. You pray that you run into a girl that looks like her and like working in a pack sun. You know, like old school, no <laughs> doubt chick. That's like, like, oh my God, you are so hot. <laughs> her and uh, Haley Williams from Paramore. Yeah, you got a thing for her. Oh my God! Were you working with us, Rob, when when they came in and were on the show with us for about an hour? Who's that? I don't think he was. Oh, no. yeah. Paramore. Paramore. Yeah. So, or maybe it was just her. That was though. Before that was before we moved over, wasn't it? Over from the dark side, or from over to <laughs> iHeart. <laughs> Son of a. Oh bitch. yeah, that was that was at the old, old kiss. Building. Yeah, he likes a redhead. Oh, and she like your is, brother does. And she's what? She is more fine now than she was before, too. Okay. <laughs> you know, okay, fine. No, was so hers here? Take your say. Part of yeah. Well, is go her, look it up. Uh, go watch some videos. Is her dad uh, Jake that had the workout programs and stuff? Body by Jake? Body by Jake. I don't think so. I assume there's a joke here, and I just don't know. No, what's her last name? Stefani? No, no, not Gwen, Gwen Stefani. Stefani. Oh, Haley about the, Williams. I'm sorry. sorry oh, Haley. Who am I thinking about? Steinfeld. Oh, Haley, Haley, Haley Steinfeld. Steinfeld. Yeah, yeah. 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 She, she's she's another. She's a young actress. As okay, well. that's who I was thinking about. But she didn't come in on the show. Haley Williams did, and um, Jake Steinfeld was that body by Jake's name. So I didn't know if they were related. I mean, yeah, and I think Haley Steinfeld did come in. She did. I believe so. Probably. Yeah. She's cute as a button. That's too. not her. You're talking about. Did you put the moves on her? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure she was probably like mm, 15. Oh. Yeah, at the time, I believe she came in. She, well, good. So finally. Of, yeah, she's really young. Yeah. Good thing. This <laughs> turned weird, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's the Ace and TJ Show with a little something extra. This is the Extra Funny Podcast. Hey, once again, we're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and this is the time for you to get some money from the equity in your home. Right, Rich? 
It is, and you can do it instantly. instantly. Let's say, you know, if you've decided that I'm going to pay off credit card debts, or we're going to build that wonderful backyard kitchen that we've always wanted, or go on vacation, it's instant. You can apply today and get your money in five days. It's that simple. Ace. And if you haven't decided, decide because you can do it right now and save yourself a lot of money. Homewithrichard.com has all the details. Homewithrichard.com. Richard Cottle Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number three eight six five two. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin.